my toes to the sound of this awesome jazz band. And you're going to have the opportunity to hear these folks play. They are playing at the Cottage Grove Theater in February. They have five play dates scheduled. And this is Mr. Hudo, and it is his class. These are fantastic young folks. It's great to see the commitment and dedication. And you, as their leader, you're doing a great job. The sound is awesome. And we're going to tell you about how you can purchase tickets. But first, let's talk about this jazz group. Oh, this jazz group's great. They, uh, they meet here daily and uh, for an hour. Uh, we just got done with a massive show last Saturday. And uh, what we do now is we start 17 rehearsals where they're involved almost every night, every Saturday, every Sunday before show opens. They're very committed to doing this show, uh, not only the jazz band, but also the, the jazz choir and a whole bunch of our community members. It, it takes a whole bunch of community members to pull something like this together, absolutely. But let's look at the youth that are assembled in this room, because the sound, as I said, it is terrific. The dancing, it makes me want to dance. The singing, it all comes together under your guidance. And I want to talk about the youth that are in this room. Well. Uh, they are real busy students. They're very uh, academic oriented. Uh, we have athletes in the group, so there's a lot of students that are involved in athletics. And uh, a whole bunch of these kids are also involved in the drama production here. So uh, they put in tons of hours. Oftentimes in the press, we hear about our youth kind of having a difficult time. There are struggles at this age period. What do you think is the difference between these kids and their dedication and commitment to a program such as this? Well, um, I, I work with uh, so many kids that are so busy they don't have time to get in trouble. Let's talk about the fourth annual Rhythm and Blues Review. Fourth annual, that is pretty significant. It's taking place at the Cottage Grove Theater and it's going to be a fundraiser. Where do the funds go? Funds go into uh, the Rhythm and Blues account. Last year the, they earned over $7,000. And so that money is spent for uh, summer camps, tuitions to summer camps. It's also spent to, uh, for our dues and fees to festivals that we go to. We are recognizing the youth in our communities. It is so important to recognize the, the impact that these young people are making. And it goes on all over in high schools. There's all kinds of young people that are doing really, really well, and we want to recognize them. So let's talk again how people can get involved. Tell us the details. The, uh, in, in terms of purchasing the tickets, you can actually get them online, and you just go to www.cottagetheater.org and the Cottage Theater is where we're producing this. The opening night, Thursday night, two shows on Friday, one on Saturday, and a matinee on Sunday. Oh, and I will be there. We also have tickets available through Oregon Living Television, so visit our website, and then also go online to order. This is a fantastic opportunity, and I know that this is usually a sold out event. Yes, you gotta get your tickets early. <laughs> Get your tickets early. You heard it right here. But now, let's get back and listen to more of this fantastic music right here at Cottage Grove High School. You 